Hey guys, Chad at Spy Racing Heads. I want to show you something. You uh, you won't get a lot of porters to show you this kind of cylinder head because they're pretty top secret. But I mean, the cylinder head in this class is just part of the equation with any engine, but especially in super stock because these heads do things that are absolutely insane power level wise. Um, NHRA has got some rules on these. This is actually an Edelbrock casting that they uh, allow uh, because all the older heads are getting used up. So they, they allowed uh, like Edelbrock, Whirl, Dart, which are iron, but they make you run 50 more pounds and they make you have a little bigger port volume. So this spy rule is 172 cc's. So you can see right there's original. So the original height was probably there. So everything gets raised. See the floor, nice straight shot. Uh, the reason why it's shiny is because I put epoxy, uh, DEVCON 2 ton epoxy on there to, to help seal it. So they also have a rule on the uh, chamber volume. So you can see here, um, these will get angle milled. The, these are going to Canada, they get angle milled. So I just, uh, I get questions all the time. This is just because I got fingerprints all over from the epoxy work. So I don't like having a nasty looking deck. So I DA it, takes all this stuff off. But so this done will be probably, I think the rule is 62 cc's. The, actually the chamber or the exhaust port, let me go around here. You can see how basically, you know, the original port is down here. So they get welded up to the bottom of the bowl hole and they get raised. Um, so basically what I'm saying is the legal head out of the box is illegal and you gotta make it legal. So same thing here, you raise it. So this port volume's in the 60s, 63-ish, uh, probably in the 80s out of the box. So this particular class, there's the, gotta have the NHRA logo on it. Uh, also, hey, real quick, you can hear the song in the background. Every time I post a video with music in it, they hang a tag on it, say it don't have copyright. We own the rights to this song because the bandmates and I, a long time ago, it's probably been about 15 years ago now, had a group of high school friend band. And uh, this is a song that I actually wrote. It's actually on YouTube, check it out. Anyway, they can't hang anything on me. And I gotta have music. Okay, so basically here it is on the bench. I. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into what it flows, but you can see I, I made a, made a, a, a spacer plate for it. Um, let me just turn this on. This is at an inch. Most of these engines will have close to an inch of lift in them. It's moving some air. 172 cc's. 202 valve, 1.6 square inches at the push shot. Super fast. This is actually probably one of the fastest cylinder heads you're gonna find on an engine, period. So most of the engines are 355, 358 range, somewhere in there. So, but I just wanted to take the time, got a lot of hours in them. I mean, honestly, it, it's, a, it's a 55 hour head. Uh, they're not cheap. Um, they're, just, they're just a lot of work. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys something different, um, kind of get in depth a little bit. You can see the, see the common wall, how straight it is. Just get in depth on uh, something that uh, is kind of a dying art. I mean, all the old guys are unfortunately passing away and um, there's not many guys out there willing to do super stock heads or actually iron heads for that matter. So I've done my share of both, but Again, thanks for looking. Have any questions, give me a call here at Spire Ace Heads. I'm always here, 785-623-0963. Y'all have a good day. Thanks, bye.